Now, uh, Tucker Carlson is going to have uh, Bill Nye the Science Guy join him on his show to talk about climate change and climate denial. Uh, Car Carlson, of course, is going to say, "Well, I'm not. I'm not a denier. I'm not denying. I'm just. A, I'm just a skeptic, man. That's all I am. We're just asking questions. All we're doing is we're asking questions. We're, we're waiting for the science, because the science. I mean, it's not perfect. It's not perfect." And then, of course, uh, in the beginning of one of his segments, he talks about how uh, cognitive, uh, he, well, he references how Bill Nye is talking about cognitive dissonance. And he's saying that, well, that's just name calling, man. We're, we're just, we're, why are you picking on us skeptics? So he's going to bring on Bill Nye and they're going to have a conversation. Uh, and of course, this whole thing doesn't seem to sit well with, uh, with Bill Nye. So let's, let's take a look at that. That doesn't sound like science to me, Bill Nye the no, Science Guy. That sounds like something cognitive very dissonance. different. So cognitive dissonance is not a delusion, it's a feature. It's human nature. So we okay. in the science community are looking for an explanation why climate change deniers or extreme skeptics uh, do not accept the overwhelming scientific evidence for climate change. And the most reasonable explanation is you have a worldview and then you have evidence and the evidence disagrees with your worldview, so you deny the evidence. And then along right. with that, you deny the authorities that are providing the evidence. Now, if you have a better hypothesis for why climate deniers uh, deny the overwhelming scientific evidence, bring it on. It's not a delusion. It's just like the fox and the grapes. Okay, so basically, this is, this is sort of the problem with climate denial, as Nye points out. There is overwhelming evidence. Even ExxonMobil did its own studies back in the 1980s. And what they found was, oops. Climate change is a real thing. And then later on, they're like, oh, we need to shove that back in the box because we don't want to lose our main source of income, which is drilling for fossil fuels. Hush, hush, hush. Let's keep it down. Let's keep it down. And see, that's where part of this comes from. These oil companies muddy the waters on science with their own fake studies created to contradict science because the science puts their business model in jeopardy. And so that's where some of this cognitive dissonance comes from. And that's where some of this confusion comes from. It's not that the science is wrong. It's that they're muddying the waters. Now, look, I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to get to Tucker Carlson, uh, because he, of course he had to respond to this, uh, and he's going to continue to play the, well, I'm just asking questions, uh, card. So let's take a look at that. Look, it's, you know, people do come to every debate with preconceptions for, and you're right about that, of course. But the essence of science is extreme extreme skepticism. We always ought to be asking well, ourselves, is, is my hypothesis true? I'm a member of both skeptic organizations, to, Mr. Carlson, and this is, this is you uh, see, you climate change denial skeptics. is denial. The evidence is overwhelming. Don't get me wrong, I love you as a person more than life itself, but the evidence for, over, for climate change is overwhelming. So we are looking for an but, explanation but on, wait, of so wait, why wait, you so guys down. are having so much trouble you're, with you're, it. Oh, wait, so, so down, before the name calling begins and before you try to end the conversation, let's start it by asking what exactly you mean. Now, I think most people are open to the idea that the climate is changing. It has always changed, by the way, as you know. It's the, the rate, cool. Mr. Carlson. It's the, the rate no, that's on. such so, a concern. So the core question, from what I can tell, is why the change? Is it part of the endless cycle of climate change, or is human activity causing it? That seems to be the debate to me, and it seems an open question, not a settled it's, question, to what degree human activity is causing that. Is that it's not, not an open a, it's question? It's not an open question. It's a settled question. Human activity is causing okay. climate change. To what so, degree? To, to a degree that it's, that it's a very serious problem in the next no, few no, but, decades. But, but, but stop, stop, stop. Wait, no, you said it's a settled point, and I'm yeah, asking a very precise question. Yeah, in the science community, it's a settled point. To, okay, the, then, then if, you'll, if you'll elucidate it for me, I'd be grateful. To what degree is climate change caused by human activity? Is 100% of climate change is caused by human activity? Is it 74.3%? It's settled science. Please tell us to what degree. Okay, so look, again, Tucker Carlson muddying the waters. Okay, so look. Here's what he's saying. Oh, yeah, okay, so sure. Climate change is happening. It's always happened. So, because it's always happened, it's not necessarily all of humanity's fault. I mean, I'm just asking for the degree. I'm just asking questions, right? I'm just asking questions. Now, the whole thing, again, serves to question like, well, if we're not impacting this the, the climate that much, if there are still questions, well, then it might be okay for us to continue to pump more carbon uh, dioxide in the atmosphere. But see, that right there is denying what carbon actually does. 
see what these greenhouses or greenhouse gases do is that they trap heat so that it cannot escape. Now, what happens when you trap heat and it can't escape? It tends to get warmer, right? That's what science is saying. That's very, very simple. Hence the name global warming. And also the effect of this heat changes the climate, i.e. climate change. It's really not a very difficult uh, uh, concept. And what we're doing is that we're putting more of these heat trapping gases into the atmosphere. But again, uh, Tucker Carlson is going to talk about the degree that these gases are having on, on, on the contribution to climate change. Well, look, it's pretty simple to find out the answer. You could just look at global temperature since the industrial age began, and, the, and, and you'll see that the rate of change has spiked significantly since humans started burning fossil fuels. Add in the population explosion, uh, the industrialization of a lot of countries uh, that, of course, require more of this energy generation, which requires more burning of fossil fuels, and you're going to see this rate increase dramatically. And that's exactly what the models are showing. That's exactly what the data that we have found is showing. It may not be 100%, like 110% uh, exact. It might be 97.5% exact. But that 3.5% or whatever that they want to point out, uh, see, we don't know. We don't know how much uh, humanity is actually contributing to climate change. We don't know. See, there's, there's not, no consensus in the scientific community. Let's keep bursting out fossil fuels. That's what they're doing. It's, it's all about muddying the water. But again, uh, Tucker Carlson in this so-called debate, he's going to go back and he's going to keep asking the same simple question, the degree, the degree, the degree. And he's going to also interrupt every chance he gets to try and prevent uh, Bill Nye from answering this question. Let's take a look at that. So... You asked, uh, you asked how long it would be before, what would the climate would be like if humans weren't involved right now, is that right? Yeah, yes, that's okay. exactly right. So at, the climate at what point would, be would like it have a, changed? So, and I'm just saying, you don't actually know because it's unknowable. So, this so why is how aren't long you open it takes you to questions? interrupt me, okay? It takes you quite a bit less than six seconds. So the climate would be like it was in 1750. And the economics would be that you could not grow wine-worthy grapes in Britain as you can today because the climate is changing the use of pesticides in the midwest would not be increasing okay. because the parasites are showing up sooner and hang are the pests are showing up sooner and hanging around longer the, i the, think that's probably all Wyoming true but you would not be overwhelmed okay. by pine bark beetles as it is right. because of climate change that's how so the much of this you don't know for humans. you pretend that you know but you don't know I and you believe people you, who ask I you really questions i really have to disagree with you well, i spent a lot I, of time look, with this topic i'm open minded you are not and we're out of okay. time unfortunately i'm open minded but you're not and oh look we're out of time sorry constant interruptions but look this is what they're doing right this is muddying the water and also you have to look at the framing here all I'm asking, all I'm doing is just asking questions. I'm just a skeptic. And science is supposed to be skeptical. You know, and if you try to go after me with something that's established science, oh, you're trying to bully me. Because I, I'm saying that I'm putting out the narrative that it is not established science. Because I have questions. Your questions can be answered. But again, he, refuse, he refuses to, to, to look at this data. And again, that's the narrative, right? I mean, think about it this way. I mean, you know, sky's blue, right? Well, what if says, somebody comes up and says, well, actually, what if it's purple? What if the sky is purple? No, it's not purple. You can see it. The sky's blue. Well, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm just asking questions, dude. Don't bully me. You don't actually know. You are a closed-minded bully. Just because you can't take my questions into account. Because your question is flawed. It's based on a flawed premise. And that's what this is turning into. And look, first they denied that it was happening in the first place. And there are many out there that still do deny that it actually is happening. And then when the effects come into play, they come up with, well, look, hey, you know what? This is natural. It's going to do that anyway. So, hey, look, it's not our fault. <laughs> it's nothing that we're doing. We're not. We're just pumping all this carbon dioxide in the atmosphere that is known to trap heat. But it's not our fault. We can't actually affect the climate. This is natural. It's all natural. No, no. The rate 
which is what Nia was talking about. Unmistakable. Look, you can't look at the hockey stick graph and think, hmm, wait a minute, something seems off here. Mm, uh, you know, at the time where humans started really burning this fossil fuels, this, uh, this graph certainly starts to shoot up. It's a temperature graph. No, no, you know what? No. Uh, fake, fake, it's all fake, it's all broken. That's what they're going to say. And then they're going to blame it on things like volcanoes. Because again, look, if, it, if volcanoes were at fault, we would actually have data. We would see that there would be a massive enough spike whenever one went off. However, we don't. What we do see is a massive upward trend that is consistent. And that's the issue. And besides, the sum, uh, the sum total of all CO2 outgassed by active volcanoes pretty much amounts to about 1 one fiftieth of all anthropogenic emissions. So you can't blame it on the, all the, on the volcanoes, okay? That's not, that's not science. Look, there's a lot of evidence out here, right? Don't take it from me. Look for yourselves. I, I'm not, I'm certainly not a scientist. Bill Nye is an engineer. He's not necessarily a science t scientist either. But if you look at the data and you come at it with an open mind, you realize there's not a lot of room for question here. And look, stats aren't perfect. Models aren't perfect. Scientists don't always agree 100% on everything. But on this, you have a staggering 97% of scientists that agree that the rate that climate change is occurring now not the fact that climate change is happening. Everybody agrees on that. But the rate of climate change is being influenced by human activity. Mainly the burning of fossil fuels like carbon and methane. And we've got to change that or else we may create a world that we are not ready and prepared to adapt to. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYTNation.